Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be decorating our kitchen for spring. Here's a glimpse of it undecorated. With just the items I'm planning on using to decorate it set up on the kitchen table and buffet. Thanks for joining me. Hi, I'm Tanya. Here are all the items I'll be using to decorate my hutch, and I'll be using the rest of these items to decorate my kitchen for spring. Let's start decorating. I'll begin by using this vintage pitcher with a rose on it. This was the inspiration for decorating my hutch. Next, I'll be using this platter that came with my dishes set. Then I'll add this salad bowl that also came with my dishes set as well as a plate behind it. If you saw my Valentine's Decorate With Me video, you saw these candles. Now I'm using them for spring. And if you saw my winter decorate with me video, you saw this green canister. Now I'm just going to use these green orbs that I got at Ikea years ago. Now I'm going to add my creamer and sugar bowl that also came with my dishes set. Would anyone like some spring tea? <laughs> That's my fancy voice. So fancy. Now I'm just going to take a couple of saucers and a couple of teacups and set them on each side of the pitcher, as well as the remaining teacups and saucers. I'm using them to fill in empty spaces. Next, I'll be adding in this Cottontail Farms sign so that it'll add just a touch of color to my display, as well as this Carrot Patch sign. Next, I'll add in these yellow-green flowers with touches of pink in them to add some more color to the display. Then I'll add these gingham carrots to the display for another pop of color. Next, I'll be adding in these moss bunnies. I'll add one to each shelf in a zigzag formation. Then I'll add in the salt and pepper lambs to the top shelf to fill in some gaps. Then I'll add in these little lamb figurines to the second and third shelf as fillers. My spring kitchen hutch is complete and I'm happy with the way it turned out. The vintage rose pitcher was the inspiration for decorating inside of it. I placed my pitcher in the hutch and then I decorated around it. I pulled from the colors of the pitcher, which were pinks and greens, and then I added other small touches of colors around it to create visual interest but not overpower it. I chose to use the Cottontail Farms and the Carrot Patch signs because they had a vintage feel to them, which I thought complemented my vintage pitcher. When I thrifted these little glass bottles, I had no idea what I was going to use them for. I just knew that they were cute. Well, after some thought, I decided I would put little flowers inside of them and hang them across my kitchen window. I'm just using some flowers I already had. I just pulled off a little section of the blooms so that it would be the right size for these little glass bottles. Next, I'm going to decorate above my kitchen cabinet so I can add some spring colors up there. I'll begin by adding some Easter eggs into my apothecary jar, and then I had some little glass jars that were reminiscent of the ones I just placed by the window, so I'm just adding some daisies that I already had on hand into those. And then I have an aqua pitcher, which I'm also using as well. I think that adding these spring colors on top of my kitchen cabinet draws the eye up when you walk into our kitchen, as well as adding some color to break up all the white around the cabinet. Now I'm going to decorate my coffee bar area. I'll begin by hanging this sign to cover the light switches. Then I'll add this tray to anchor all my spring decor on it. Here's my functional coffee bar canister. It's where I keep my coffee filters and my coffee measuring scoop. Now I'm going to place this mini wreath on top of the tray. 
Then I'm going to layer this nest with eggs on top of the wreath to add visual interest. Then I'll add this flower that I already had to the tray as well. This will help to add some more color to my coffee bar. Then I'll add this bunny I got on clearance at Kirkland's two years ago. The sign is from Dollar Tree. The mini wreath and tray I bought from a local garage sale site. And the nest, canister, and flower are from Hobby Lobby. The canister and flower I bought several years ago, the nest is from this year. Now I'm going to start decorating my three-tiered tray. I'll begin by adding this green spear and canister as fillers. Then I'll add my mini charcuterie board. Then I'll add this bunny family that we got from Hobby Lobby years ago. I'll spread the bunnies out on each tier. Next, I'm going to add in this floral measuring cup set that I got on a local garage sale site years ago. Then I'll add these flowers that I already had to give this area a pop of color. I'll use another Dollar Tree sign and hang it to cover the outlet. I'll use this coffee canister that you've seen in my other decorating videos as a utensil holder. You'll notice that I'm taking some Valentine decor and other everyday decor and turning it around to be utilized as spring decor. That is a way for you to utilize the decor you already have and use it through the seasons. Now I'm placing my cutting board against the wall to cover my outlet. If you're enjoying this video, please click like it helps my channel to grow, and I'd appreciate it. If you're interested in finding out where I got my new decor for this year and how much I paid, please check out my spring haul video. I'll link it in the description below. Everything I got was either 50% off, 40% off, or on clearance. Now I'm going to add this spring hand towel to my stove. I got it last year on sale at our local grocery store. Next, I'll be decorating our kitchen table. I'll begin with a vintage cake stand, a piece of wood that my handy husband cut for me to be used as a riser for the birdhouse and a wreath. We bought the birdhouse from Hobby Lobby years ago and spray painted it white. Now I'm going to sprinkle some eggs around the birdhouse to add some pops of color to my centerpiece. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe. I thank you in advance for subscribing. Now I'm going to drape this beaded bunny tassel around the base of my centerpiece. Then I'll place our galvanized metal chargers that we use every day on the table and then I'll place our everyday plates on top of the chargers. Then I'll add our coasters as well. Next, I'll be decorating the top of our buffet. I'll begin by adding moss to this bird cage that I bought from one of the local garage sale sites in our area. It is from Hobby Lobby and I've had it for several years. Now I'm just taking a couple of bird nest ornaments that I already had and placing them inside of the bird cage. Then I'll take some of the moss and start pulling it out of the sides of the bird cage to give it a more natural look.
Then I'll add this moss bird next to it that I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. Then I'm going to take the dome lid to a decorative stand that I have and place it on one of my everyday plates and fill it with some bunny cookies that I got at our local grocery store. I'm just placing them in there as neatly as I can with the bunnies facing toward me. Next, I'll be placing some cupcakes with sprinkles in our cake dome. Next, I'll be writing something on my chalkboard, which I like to do with the changing of the seasons. The kitchen is decorated for spring. Here's a view all the way around. If you haven't seen my Spring Decorate Front Porch 2022 video, please check that out. I'll link it in the description below. I hope this video encourages you and gives you ideas and inspiration to decorate your kitchen for spring. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with a friend, click like, and subscribe. Bye!